Hey guys, it's Catherine here. Just um, wanted to come on here to make a layout for you guys. Um, I know it's been a long time, but um, I just wanted to do this quick um, 12 by 12 layout. Um, it's inspired by Jot Magazine's um, mood board, February mood board. I'm going to put it up here for you. Um, I love the, the purples and the pinks and the pops of that lime green. So I'm definitely going to um, take the inspiration from the colors there. And I was going to use gelatos, but I decided that, well, actually, I didn't decide. I don't have all of the colors. I didn't have a purple. So um, I'm going to just use acrylics here. Um, I'm using just Cra Craft Smart um, acrylics. One in violet, one in pink, and one in uh, purple, a light purple-ish. Um, they're just from Michaels, so um, just basic acrylics. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the purple one for um, for splatters, but I'm going to mix the dark pur the well the purple and the uh, and white together to do a lighter um, lilac purple there. So I'm just putting it on a craft mat. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a faux watercolor um, background. Uh, so I'm watering, uh, watering down the acrylics a little bit. Not too much because I, I still want um, the opaqueness of the um, acrylics to show up. So um, I do mix in a lot of water to make it um, flow just easier. Um, so you can see me dipping it, it, it in there and mixing up that that lilac purple um, and then I'll dip my my paintbrush in the water more just to have it spread out more evenly and I just find like little dust particles in the in the paint either in the paint or in the brush it's probably in the brush because the brush is pretty um, I haven't touched that brush in a very long time so <laughs> there's probably lots of dust on there um, and I'm just going in with the that darker purple or dark darker pinky purple I want to call it and um, doing that and is um, obviously Wilna Furstenberg she's always so inspiring I love watching her videos her YouTube videos and um, I love this technique that she uses here um, I call it color blocking with um, acrylics or she uses gelatos most of the time but um, um, I love just the way that the, it, like they're just color blocks, blocks of color that are um, are just very opaque and vibrant and delicious, if you if you will. So I'm just putting away the the paint there, and I I'm pull I'm gonna pull out the photo that I'm gonna be using for this layout, um, and I haven't decided where exactly I want to put it. I think I end up putting it there, but I do try out um, just on the side here. So. Um, first I'm going to dry that up and actually no nope, now I'm going to do splatters on the um, using the darker that darker purple on in the corner there so I'm just gonna do dark splatters I didn't want to use black because because um, I already had paint <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the darker that darker purple and it does it does look black once it dries anyways so um, I'm just gonna do some splatters using the brush my brush and then just tapping it a little bit and I basically want to go um, I wanted to go diagonally across the page that way um, but kind, they're kind of all haphazard all over the place so it's not quite um, diagonal but it's all good so now I'm just drying this all up um, with the heat tool and um, next I'm going to be pulling out all of the um, embellishments that I pulled out from my own stash so I used a, a bit of everything I could tell you basically where some of the stuff is from but um, I organize all of them when I, whenever I get die cuts I just split them up in color because that's how I scrapbook I scrapbook in color so um, I have a box with those mini iris containers, the 4x6 iris containers, and I split up all my embellishments by color. 
So I can, I can tell you where most of these um, embellishments actually come from. Um, but right now here, I am using this Dear Lizzie um, sticker paper. I do use some of the stickers on here, but what I really wanted was the um, that watercolor um, wa watercolor paper there for a mat for my photo. It's a little bit smaller than my photo, but I'm okay with that. I guess I could have trimmed my photo, but <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think about that for some reason. Um, I think because I also wanted to use another pattern paper um, from the Maggie Holmes collection, I want to say. Um, and I just wanted to, to add another part, like another pattern paper. I thought it was missing a little bit more color. So I just use this polka dot. I love this polka dot paper. And I'm just playing with the, um, with the way it looks. And it, it will change again. Um, I, sw I want that pink and blue um, to show up more, but, uh, but I would rather have more showing on the very, on the side of it, on the right hand side of it. So I'll switch it around again. And that green, that bright green ledger paper, I guess it's not ledger paper, it's, um, it's a library card, is from a Maggie Holmes cut apart. It comes with a bunch of ledgers and, uh, um, library cards on it and I pulled out that blue uh, that navy blue piece of paper because I wanted to add a background I wanted to add that navy blue background to the edge because I think that would add extra it would definitely make the greens pop out so now I'm just placing on my embellishments here uh, there's there's that vellum flower from Maggie Holmes collection as well like her float that die cut floral pack that she had and the heart is from a um an all oh, an Allie Edwards week in the life kit I think the flowers are from my own stash that I've made um they're just clay flowers that I make for um little clips and, and everything for my girls hair clips and um I have a, I have just a ton of them ton of different colorful ones um, and there I was changing the the way of that pattern paper there that tealy blue um, die cut is from a, a Mar um, Amy Tangerine and that happy die cut is just a bunch of die cuts that I cut out with my silhouette I do a big group of silhouette cuts or like um, cards and everything. Oh, and here I'm showing you, really badly showing you, like the 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 hearts or the flowers. Oh my gosh, the flowers that I make for my daughter's um, hair clips and and pins and everything. So I have a bunch of different colors. So I believe <clears throat> I'm just finishing off everything. Um, I'm gonna take everything off and then um, adhere it all back onto the paper but I think I like the way that everything stands so um no I'm just gonna play with, oh, with a little bit of stuff but <laughs> I think I'm gonna um cut it I cut it there and by the magic of television of television of YouTube it's gonna be all done <laughs> and so this is basically the final layout I decided instead of blue the, the navy blue really drowned out the the green and I really wanted it to pop out more so I found this floral um, lime green um, pattern paper and I really liked the way that it it made the lime green pop out more and I found a, a couple more embellishments that I wanted to add I added that beautiful um, that beautiful die cut um, some enamel dots and the little piece at the bottom and oh, some florals from that sticker sheet from Dear Lizzie. So, um, basically, this is this is the final layout, and I added my um, my journaling in the on the photo itself, and I think that is all. Yep, yeah, it looks like it. So here is the final shots of the um, finished layout, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day, guys.